Hey guys, it's Steve on the Guru Brew 2. Today we're going to talk about installing computer fonts. Computer fonts are a style of letter that you use a lot for design, graphic design, make your projects look prettier if you don't know what fonts are. Anyway, this video is going to show you how you can acquire new fonts, some really fancy nice ones, and install them into your computer so that other applications like Word or WordPad, Notepad, uh, Microsoft Word can all access the new fonts, including graphic programs. So let's get started. Here's some examples of fonts shown on this page. And you can see the impact that different fonts make. And it's well known in advertising that using the correct font can make or break the ad. And it can also bring feeling to the reader, if you will. So I want to direct your attention to this website. It's called 1001freefonts.com. I'll leave a link in the description. And this is actually where you can look through fonts and pick out ones that you like and, and download them and use them. And I'll show you how to do that today. There are other um, websites out there that allow you to do this too. You could just Google free fonts and probably find quite a few of them. Anyway, we're going to look at this, um, this website, 1001 free fonts. So as I scroll down here, you can see they've got tons to choose from and they make it very nice to see what you're getting. Look, I'm on page seven of a whole bunch of them. There's a whole complete list here, A through Z. And then up here at the top, they even have them broken into categories like fantasy. Let's see what a fantasy font would look like. Yeah. Look, this one even has graphics. So when you type a, uh, a certain key, you know, you'll get a skull. It's kind of neat. So I did want to show you one other thing. Over, over here on the right-hand side, it describes what the license is for this. And if you plan on using a font in a business for like a logo or something like that, be very careful that you read this and make sure that you are allowed to use it for commercial use. If you're just writing a letter to your aunt or something, it's not going to matter. But uh, if you're using it in a logo, I would definitely read what the uh, stipulations using the font are. Most of them are free for personal use, but there are others that do want you to donate money. So be aware of that. So let's say we've looked down through these fonts and we want to try this immortal right here is kind of neat it's got upper and lower case you can see 25,000 people have downloaded it let's go ahead and hit the download button and I'm gonna save that file to my desktop because it's easy to find okay let's see how we're downloading here okay it's done already very short file okay so let's go to my desktop here and locate that here's the zip file here these come all zipped so what you're gonna have to do is right click on it and extract all click and it's gonna be called immortal next okay so this is our actual file here and what I can do to add it to our system I'm using Windows 7 is you can just use your right hand mouse button and click on it and there's an install button here and then you can left click on that and you can see it's installing the font now how do we see our fonts and know what we have for fonts let me go ahead and go back to the start button here and in the search we're going to type in fonts f-o-n-t-s and hit enter so this is a page of all the installed fonts and as you can see I've got quite a few on this system and we should find the one that we just installed called Immortal. Let's see, let's find our eyes here. I think I, yep, there it is right there, Immortal. 
So this should now be available to us using like a WordPad or something like that. I've got a test document up here. So if I select my Guru Brew name, I should be able to come, come up under here and choose the immortal font. Let's see if it's in the list. H-I-H-I, -H -I, right there, immortal. Look at that. Now I can size the font. That's, that's uh, that easy. Let's go get another one. Let's go back to our website. Let's, uh, let's look on a different page here. Let's check out the Disney fonts. That ought to be interesting. Yeah, it does look like Disney, doesn't it? Here's Monster, Bugs Life. Oh, that's neat. But notice these are personal use, so make sure that you... Uh, pay attention to that let's go ahead and get the Walt Disney font and uh, see how it looks download I'm gonna save it and again I'm just gonna put it on my desktop save I'm gonna close all the windows so I can get to my desktop here um, right here it is Walt Disney let's unzip it right click and then click left click on extract all hit the ex extract button and here it is and there's also a license file in here too and if you um if you open that it'll probably tell us what we're allowed to do so again be careful that you're not doing something um that's breaking the copyright if you're doing this for business so you can see that uh here are the fonts here so let's right click on one and we're gonna left click on the install button there's a couple different sets in here let's try this one too that might just be one is you know italics and one's bold or something like that okay that's good let's see if uh, they're in our list again you can just go here and type in font and if we look down through our list we should see the Walt Disney one let's hit W and see what it does Yep, it's right here. These two right here. They call them Walto Graph. Walto Graph, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go to our test page here and let's make my name uh, Walt Disney here. <laughs> there it is. Walt Disney. Looks just like it, don't it? And again, these fonts should also show up for your email and any other documents that you're trying to print. So this is a great way to add new fonts to your system. It doesn't cost you anything. So I hope you got some use out of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.